to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your chair for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience wait it's simple me 1 Peter 5 and verse 6 Humble yourself therefore under the mighty hands of God that he may exalt you in due time. Why go on my people? Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. It is Sunday. Yet on a Sunday morning, me get up and find myself alive. Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living and surely, surely, surely not amongst the dead. Give thanks to life and gathering in this red rice and rooster international Sunday. No, some only for people that cook up and a little things. Yeah, man. Only can make people them know, oh, now cook for dinner today, you, know? you understand? But Sunday, they don't set aside red rice and rooster. And that now nah, got change. But anyway, now people are one only person thing I can like in the news, you know. I'm here look so 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 and look so 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 and look cha 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 right round there so but let me tell you the truth. Me can't really confirm the story, you understand? We can't know nobody in the ministry of health. Who can give me the records so me can come back come tell me say yo, I saw it go. But me just have to know and say, yo, me hear the same thing on the ear. And other people might tell me say I saw it go. But me now come come tell me say I saw it go. For the people that more wonder what me I talk about. Them say the police, give the girl the big hair. You understand? You know what the big hair is? That it's AIDS. You understand? That's why the little girl throat get cut on them little thing there. Me no know how true it is. You understand? So me make sure you come and me tell you no plain. Yeah, me tell you no plain and treat. Nobody. Me no know I'm in this child. We can pull the record and give to me. But what me can tell you no, me can tell you no who dead, who soon dead, who are this and who are that. You understand? And bad fall, your time will come. But wait, let me start right as the first. Elderly man was killed in a fire at his home on 3rd Street in Greenwich Farm, Kingston at about 4.30 a.m. yesterday. He has been identified as 76-year-old retiree Keith Brown. It is understood that the senior citizen was drunk and fell asleep with a cigarette in his hand and we get some people in the light you understand brown reported he lived alone in a section of a tenement yard residents were awoken by fire coming from his one bedroom concrete dwelling the fire brigade were alerted and following the cooling down operation guess what people brown charred remains was found inside the rubble let me tell you something for the people that would have wonder if a thief in light of a can go job see me tell you there a smoke him a smoke and never out the cigarette and dead but anyway more news man shot dead in front of seven year old son in saint elizabeth let me tell you another ball game they go now a man was shot dead in front of his seven year old son in elm district in saint elizabeth the dead man has been identified as 50 year old richard griffiths otherwise called richie a farmer from the district everybody know richie say no sir richie nine night i got cock it's important that around 11 minutes past 4 pm Griffith was outside his house with his seven-year-old son when a silver car drove up with several men aboard. Police report that one of the men jumped from the vehicle and opened fire, hitting the now deceased, killing him right on the spot. The man returned to the car, which drove away. Police was summoned and guess what, people? Then they saw it on the scene. Pick up Richie body. Get down on the mark. Figure down on ice. No motive has been established for that killing. Anyway, more news. 51-year-old farmer Gary Rose of Coffridge in Cape Valley St. Anne was on Friday charged with murder of his brother-in-law. Errol Cameron, otherwise called Shaba and Madman, a 55-year-old of Coffridge, was killed on August 18. It's reported around 3 a.m. 
there was a stone throwing incident involving Cameron and Rose. During the altercation, guess what, people? Rose run go over him yard. Go for him digging fuck. And the man taking fuck, people. And inflict one holy pal wound to Cameron's body. And guess what? Cameron was later found lying in his bed, dead, dead, dead. An investigation was undertaken, which resulted in Rose being arrested and suspicion of murder. He was charged upon completion of the investigation. Somebody should have taken back that same fart there and fix him business. So what I said, I mean what I said. I know me already. Now I take you back. Who is where? Waste of time. I put them the boy there behind bars. Anyway, now people, make I tell you no who kill Pookie you now. The West Berlin police has arrested and charged a man following the killing of 30-year-old Chantal Whittingham, otherwise called Pookie of Brighton and District, Little London, in the parish, on August 12th. He is ordained Baron. 23 year old Odin Barrant, you understand? Otherwise called Bududup or Indian, a laborer of Coolie Town District, Paradise Westmoreland. No one understand why I'm not like nothing named laborer. All of them supposed to get slapped. Yeah, man, you're a laborer if you get slapped too. So, what I said, I mean what I said. Vex if you want vex. The South of police said about 3 30 p.m. Whittingham and her relative were leaving home when a man with whom she had a dispute with and three other men approached them. The foreman alleged open gunfire, hitting Whittingham and her relative, and then escaped. The police were summoned upon their arrival. Guess what, people? Whittingham and her relative were seen lying in the roadway, covered with one holy pa' blood. I never read out the pandem. Ah, blood. You understand? Read out back on the one side. They were taken to the hospital. And guess what? Whittingham, Pokey, go go lay pa' ice, and the rest of them go go get treatment. Baron, Yes, people, I can tell you about him now. The big idiot police, them, pick him up Friday. Same place in Westmoreland. But then go up an operation for them to slap him away. The police said he gave a caution statement to the police and was later charged with murder, shooting with intent, and honor to the position of a prohibited weapon. So, boy, they forget to slap us still. I tell you the truth. Hold on, they know. Because, you then. The youth then said, throw the soup in a police face, in dead. And I have a strong feeling. I pull them, pull the plug. You understand? Speaking of pull the plug, I got talk about my local bridge into them because they pull the plug for the people. They pull the plug for my local bridge, you understand? And they look at you dead. But I'm so rich right there, there, so. Yeah, man. I'm so rich there, so. I could not know who I talk about. But I can deal with this and use the first. A 47 year old man who was shot and injured by police in Spanish Town St. Catherine on Tuesday succumbs to his injuries on Friday. He has been identified as Conrad Mahibir, a sales representative of John Crescent St. Diego Heights in St. Catherine. It's reported that following an incident along Brunswick Avenue, Spanish Town on August 22nd, a police constable in a private car arrived on the scene and told the driver to clear the roadway. An argument developed between Conrad and the policeman who reported that Conrad threw a cup of soup on him. The police jumped from his vehicle and identified himself. Conrad reported attempt to pull a firearm from his waistband. He was reported as shot and injured by the police. Only Pasha team get to understand. The injured Conrad was rushed to the hospital and later died. Yes, people. In the command investigate that day one day and I go and keep on a posted on it. Hold on. Bad fall. Bad fall. Let me tell you something. Anywhere which part you're there, you get slapped. Remember me telling you, know, we're going to read more about fall soon or very soon. Detective attacked to St. Catherine North Division are seeking the public assistance in locating 18 year old Antoine Gray, otherwise called Bad Foul and Bright, who they believe can assist them with an ongoing investigation. Bad Foul is known to frequent the Johns Road and Toy Spent area of Spanish Town. Law enforcement officers have tried repeatedly to locate him. However, him, nor him people, them answer them phone. Everybody has said them don't know which part him there. But guess what? Time longer than rope. Time longer than rope. You see, any day, any day, them buck him. Let me tell you something. Nobody put him down and cuff. You understand? Fix him business. I mean, everybody's supposed to wonder why my viewers say bad fall forget slap with. Where bad fall do now? I can tell you now. I don't know me now I leave. No stone and turn. Yes, the little girl let her get born up in her fire with lie down with her boyfriend in her bed. Yes. Bad fall is her ex-boyfriend. Yeah, man. And I must say, you a bad fall. That she gas and like the girl in her bed. I remember, I remember good. And she alone injured out of this incident there. You see, a new man in her bed with her. He made a little piece of burn too. Yeah, man. I tell you no. So bad fall. Your time I come in because somebody must find her and fix your business in a bad fall. 
bad man or police, any one of them. But hold on now. For the people that will ask about the picture of the burned victim and them who I see it, I don't know exactly which path of father and come come look upon it. YouTube so we can't put it up so we now put it up. But watch her go on pan what go on now. Our family I make a note so watch her now. She burn up real bad. Uh, the, the arms are burned 60%, that just her body alone, the arms are burned really bad, the skin completely tear, torn off. Her stepmom is here with me. They are both devastated. And uh, as I use the term, say here we are again, you know exactly that San Bernard Foundation always given an helping hand. After hearing all of this, I know exactly what I'm going to say. Government and friends are around for tea for people money. But can't fix up the burn unit in the country. Hold on. I got some news on that now. Yeah, man. You want to go on, power want to go on. Adriana Leng lost September and Akelia Dunkley in June this year. Just two of the latest burn victims who had to be airlifted for life-saving medical treatment overseas. Not because there are no burn units in the island. In fact, four of the major hospitals have them, but they are ill-equipped to treat severe burns. Take, for instance, the University Hospital of the West Indies, UHWI. What exists now? is three small rooms, one shared bathroom, a sluice room, and a reception area. But what we wanted to do and what's necessary for burn care patients is ensuring that infection doesn't spread. And that's why Petrojam is spearheading a project to expand the burn unit at the UHWI to create a two-story burn care center. What we have designed are three self-contained cubicles so they'll operate like an intensive care unit and each person will have their own bathroom so there will be no cross com contamination and we also have added an operating theater because what happens now is the operating theater that's used for burn care is the main one and they have to be competing for it mm -hmm. so we want to have a specialized one for burns patients um, and we also have a nurses lounge where we cater to the nurses it's a an outpatient room is also a critical part of the construction. So what exists now is they have a clinic on Wednesdays at the office, at the hospital, but outside of that they share outpatient rooms. So what we want to do is have three specific outpatient areas where persons can come in any day and get treatment because what happens is actually a lot of the burns are not major, they're actually minor and can be treated in outpatient. They don't necessarily need to be in the hospital in a self-contained space. And then also we'll have a scar management area because keloid is a big thing with burns. Along with Petrojam's $10 million donation, two other petrol-based companies and a private realtor donated funds on Wednesday towards the project that's expected to start by the latest January next year. We, we have um, projected an 18-month period from um, start of construction to completion. And what we're doing now is determining in a phase basis how we need those resources to ensure that the project will run smoothly. Uh, so we don't need 260 at the beginning, right? And so we, we manage it that way, but certainly if we Petrojam's general manager Colin Barnett explains the newly launched social stock exchange allows social projects like the Burn Center to be listed so companies can donate funds for its construction. This is in addition to other funding being sought from the diaspora and local citizens.